G'day! Welcome back to Green Lane Woods. A very icy Green Lane Woods. The sun, the sun is out today in its beautiful glory. And I have got Dora with me. Uh, she has got a blanket and she's got her bed as well. So today's plan, we are going to try and get the nut hatch because I noticed yesterday when I was watching it, the nut hatch crawls down the other side of the trunk. So today we're going to take down the trail cam. We're going to set this up and I'm going to put it so it's facing up the tree. The sun is coming this way. The sun will move that way. So the other side will be clear on the shadow. We try it on that side because that was the side he preferred more yesterday and we may try it on this side which will have the sun facing towards it also on the other side there's more moss because uh, it's north side side it's a bit of a mess so don't use it for a compass get yourself a proper one Jack or some type of deer barking. face this going up the tree obviously this tripod how, they gonna, how, how am I going to do that with this tripod well the answer is quite simple really I've got a special toy in my, in my bag of tricks now this is something which is designed to go on to when you're in a hide you stick that on there and you stick your, uh, your, your gimbal on there saves you getting out the tripod and most uh, hides these days have a shelf for you to lean on so you can use this to lean uh, your gimbal on instead that's the idea so I'm going to put the tripod out and then this it probably won't work with a 500mm lens or a heavier lens but with this lens hopefully I can get it so it's something like that facing up the tree that's the plan but we'll see how things go You never know until you try and maybe I need to leave it a little bit I reckon about there now obviously I can't see that so what I'm going to do is use da -da -da -da, this so this is a HDMI converter to USB converter which I can use the USB to USB-C into my phone and use a piece of software called USB camera uh, there is a couple out there uh, they are free but they're not great they are a bit glitchy but obviously on here I've got a mobile phone holder which has got the 
clip for that. The good thing about the nut hatches that I've got is they have got used to me in bits and bobs, so your experience may vary. Just make sure if you've got a mini HDMI, you've got a mini HDMI to standard HDMI for this particular system. And I've just used a rubber band to stick it onto that so it's nice and tidy up the way. So as you see here, I've got a USB to USB-C. Now, as you can see on this system, you do get adverts at the top, so ignore any nudity. I don't think there is any nudity, but you never know. Um, I can now see what the camera's looking at, so and it's pretty live. I'm not going to be able to show you very well on here. Uh, and this is also the system that I can use to record the camera and what's going on. Okay, so another tip when it comes to setting this up, uh, like I say, the distance seems to make a difference. But what you can do is you can use the focus ring and it tells you on the screen, on the Z lenses, how much zoom that's got. So if you've got pixel peak peaking, it's a hell of an advantage. I've got mine set to blue because I just liked it in blue. Personal preference and all that type of thing. So I can see sort of what distance it needs to be. Now I'm just wondering, because of the system that I've got, is it worth doing that? Don't move this. Right. Well, this is going to be an interesting angle, but never mind. Right, so once you've got that information, you can set the distance, but I don't think it will allow me to go to that size. When it um, changes screen, it refreshes the screen, so sometimes it don't connect correctly, so you kind of have to try and force it again. And the best way to do that is unplug the USB, and then plug it back in. Before we even go into the auto capture, just make sure you've got your autofocus set, so I've got it set to uh, wide area, so the full screen and bird detection, and that's all correct. Uh, make sure your frames are all all right and all that type of thing. Make sure you've got the speed right. So you want it double when you're video recording. You only need it double what you're recording. So I'm recording at 100 frames per second. So I'm going to set it at 200 shutter speed. Um, I'm going to have it at f4. No, I'm not. I'm going to have it at f. 5.6. Uh, I've got auto ISO and I'm going to increase the exposure a tiny bit because I've got the sun right above me. So let's go into auto capture, start, and I'm not going to set the distance on this one, I'm just going to have it on motion. So I'm going to have motion, uh, speed one, size one, and record time 20 seconds. Hopefully that will be enough. So once that's done, check the settings and leave it to record. Now the nut hatches have been watching me from the other side. <laughs> so hopefully they know it's there and we we'll move all my stuff to the other side actually. And we're going to sit there uh, just out of the way so I can see what's going on with this one. And fingers crossed we'll get some good results, but who knows? It's, a, it's an experiment, and uh, let's be honest, if I was doing this without the auto capture, it wouldn't work, because the birds won't come down for a start. I don't even know if they're going to come down for these, but we're going to give it a try. Obviously as well, I've got the USB camera there, I've got the, the microphone there, which is plugged in. I haven't got the wireless system with me today because I don't need it.
I've been sitting here watching this for quite a while now, towards about towards an hour's time, but the nut hatch is just not showing at the moment. And I'm watching all these lovely birds come down and feed on my feed down here, but I'm missing out on those photos. So what I think I'm going to do is because the nut hatch is not showing up at the moment, I'm going to leave it that for the moment and save that when he starts coming. Hopefully, if he starts coming. So uh, I'm going to set it up to take some videos and some uh, shots of the birds coming down because they're showing really impressively. Mm -hmm. So one annoying feature about this camera and or lens, the further you zoom in, the less space you've got to focus. What I mean by that, if you're fully zoomed in, it's got to be 1.4 or more for the distance set on auto capture, that is. But if you're zoomed out, it's 0.9. Now I know this lens is supposed to have a zoom of uh, a, a minimum focal distance of 0.7. But you can't go down to that low. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's different on other lenses. But so for the moment, I'm going to set it so it's not got a distance restriction. There is quite a lot of distance behind, but it should be all right. But we can always use this as a as a way of testing. Does the distance setting make a difference? In our, further, uh, in our previous testing, it did make a difference. In this one, we don't know. We'll give it a try. We're using it all experiment, so you don't have to. The annoying thing about today, this is Sunday, it's supposed to be the day of rest, but as you can hear in the background, there's a chainsaw going. I'm hoping it's a chainsaw because if it's a bike, I'll go and bloody murder the buggers. But it's not going to give you the best of sound with that in the background, and it's constant. That's got to be a chainsaw, surely. So when I went over there and I was standing well, reasonably close, at a distance I could see quite easily, I noticed that the nut hatches um, at the angle I was looking at was quite nice. So I've changed the position and fingers crossed, they do what they were doing a minute ago.
honest today. I still reckon we would have been better with a 600 mil where I've been standing. I got, I could have got a really lovely shot of him just sat right on the top.